Well, this is JC. I uh, I was sitting thinking about dogs and animals and things, and I remember the story I heard one time, a long time ago, I can't remember where, uh, about a dog, a big black Labrador dog, and his heroic effort that he made um, um, at one time. And I'll tell you about that story now. It's uh, I, I think a lot of people consider their pets as part of the family, and some people just consider them as as uh, just pets, and that's all. But uh, you can sort of use your own uh, judgment about this dog. And uh, so anyhow, without further ado, I'll, uh, I'll tell the story. I started writing it down. I wrote most of it down, but I'll, uh, I'll just finish, uh, wing it after I finish what I wrote down. So this is a, a story about a big black Labrador dog. And this was a hospital. It was a smaller hospital outside of, or just the edge of a small town um, in uh, Ohio. And uh, it was nighttime, and uh, a large black Labrador dog ran up to the emergency room entrance of the hospital and began barking wildly and clawing at the door. An orderly inside saw the dog and opened the door so he could get a better look at it. He walked toward the dog, but just as he got close enough to reach out and touch the dog, it turned and ran away from him for a distance. The orderly shrugged and turned to walk back through the door inside. But the dog ran toward him again, snarling viciously, orderly froze in his tracks, expecting to be bitten at any minute. But the dog stopped at the last minute and began whining pitifully, pitiful whines. Orderly called a nurse to see the dog. The dog turned again and started running away from them, but stopped after a short distance. The nurse called a doctor, her boss, to come and see the spectacle. After a few minutes of this, they decided the dog must want them to follow him. So they got into an emergency vehicle and uh, started it up and slowly followed the dog as he uh, trotted along in front of them for about a mile. When the dog reached a place on the road where it made a sharp bend, he turned and he looked at them and he started climbing down the embankment. The hospital staff followed and saw a pickup truck at the bottom where it had crashed. A man was behind the steering wheel and a young girl was on the passenger side. They both were alive. It was pretty obvious the pickup had rolled over several times. Uh, but they were bleeding pretty badly. The dog ran off for a little ways and just sat there and watched them then. Well, after they got the crash victims to the hospital and tended to them, the man awoke. He was still in a very fuzzy state, uh, but he could see he was in a hospital. In the meantime, the state police had been called, and they were there, and they had determined that a front tire had blown out on the pickup and caused it to roll over and over down the embankment. The man and the girl were still in a confused state after the accident. However, they would be all right eventually. After the folks had been tended to, the hospital staff recalled that black Labrador dog that had led them to the accident, probably saving their lives. They didn't see the dog around after they found the crash vi victims, so the orderly who had first seen the dog told the state police sergeant about the big black Labrador dog that had led them to the crash site and asked if he had seen the dog anywhere. The state police sergeant was very quiet for a second. Uh, he had a strange look on his face. Uh, he said to the orderly, wait just a minute, and he walked a few feet away to talk to another officer who was standing there. The orderly could see them talking back and forth very quietly. Um, and then he came back over to the orderly and he said, you, tell, you say there's a big black Labrador dog that came here and led you down to the crash scene? The orderly said, yes, uh, I was there, the nurse was there, the doctor was there, we all watched him, followed him. If it hadn't been for him, I'm sure these people would have bled to death right there. And the officer said, well, <laughs> I know this is going to sound crazy, but uh, we found the dog. And the orderly, of course, smiled real big, and he said, that's wonderful, that's wonderful. Uh, you know, those people owe their lives to that dog. And the sergeant said, well... Uh, you know, it, it, you're going to think it's strange. We found the dog. Evidently, when the pickup went off the side and started rolling over, the dog was in the back. And the dog was thrown out of the pickup, and the pickup landed on top of the dog. He was killed instantly. We found his body there at the crash site. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's my story, and you can put whatever ending you want to onto it. Um, it was told to me to be a true story, but you know how these things go. People love their animals, and 
They, uh, I could tell you some wild stories about Chico the Wonder Dog, but I won't go into that. They last too long. Anyhow, this is JC, and I'll see you down the road with the good Lord's willing. And the creek don't rise. <laughs>